Hi, this is the video number four regarding our video series about the B Research Lab Diagnostic Lab at the USDA in Beltsville, Maryland. My name is Umberto Bon Cristiani and this is Inside the Hive.tv, the show that takes you into the world of bees. In this video, Samaban, the head of the diagnostic lab, is going to perform a full diagnostic of a, a brood, brood samples that was sent to the USDA. What I think is interesting in this video is that different from the things that we learn from textbook, we're going to talk about disease over disease and over disease and how, how things are, look very different from what we learn from textbook when, when we have a real sample, real life situation going on. Um, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Jay Evans to allow me to do those videos at USDA. I hope this can be useful to someone. Please share with friends and family, hit the like button if you like it, subscribe, uh, and let's stop talking and let's jump into the video. And what I want to do is actually try to look for try to look for signs and symptoms of disease on the comb or a sphere. Um, so in this case, we have a comb. We're gonna try to diagnose for uh, any brood disease. Uh, so what we want to do is looking for the signs and symptoms. Um, so what I'll do is start looking, shine the light into the cell, um, trying to find brood, um, and then looking at the capping overall brood pattern of the comb. Um, in this case, I'm seeing some comb brood with um, open cells on right here with the hole and ones with the holes on them and kind of like a concave sunken in a normal brood this will be a nice concave um, capping but in this case uh, looks disease because you have the 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 the, co the top um, cover is already collapsed and it's kind of sunk in and so this little telltale sign that might be disease present in this comb and then we can see you know some of the nestling bees are already gone back and poke holes into cells to see what's going on because they assume that um, the, the brood is not developing and so so for us we'll start with those those signs uh, and symptoms of brood that we see on just by uh, sheer appearance of the, the the cells themselves and so then I'll just go ahead and start looking um, so what I want to determine is where's the upside or the bottom side of the the comb so in this case um, the, normally the brood will lie on the bottom side of the the, the comb uh, in, in the cell and so what I want to see is um, which side of the comb is top or on the bottom well in this case we don't know because it's it's cut around so we just go um looking at the the sharp edges of the hexagon and then say okay this might be the bottom or the top and so you just shine my light inside and trying to see if i can find any brood um in this case what i'm looking i'm finding um some dead lava that have formed into scale and by scale I mean is is a bacteria so they eat up all the brood themselves and then it's just dry down and fixed onto the cell wall and so in this case I'm looking at a so if I understand correctly yes. is the bacteria is gonna consume the whole larvae or pupa and then the, remi the remaining Remains. is going to be stuck in the wall that's correct and they're going to dry and it's going to dry out yes. so that's the sign and, that and yeah so happened. that sign is a bacteria so now we want to determine is a american or european fibro is present in this case in this case um our experience tells us it looks like uh, more of a American fibro disease present in this comb. But we're definitely going to confirm that when we do a microscopic analysis of, uh, um, of the cell. So we're going to select um, a cell. So first of all, we're going to look at ones that are, they have the pinholes. Um, we're going to remove and then look if we find any dead brood in it. So just carefully remove it. And I can also, I can see that is a scale also in the cap brood. And so this is what we typically, uh, we refer to as scale. 
So that's confirmed to us there's um, uh, some type of disease going. In this case, it's more likely um, American fowl. Um, now, this is not typical. Usually, so, um, uh, you have if it's if it's not dry down, you can do the rapid test. In this case, we're not able to do the rapid test because it's already dried down. So what you want to do is actually we're trying to remove the scale, and we can see it's fixed. Is very stuck in, into the onto the cell wall. So what we want to do in this case is actually we're gonna um, soak it and then try to dissolve um, the, the, the remains and then we're gonna fix it to a slide and then we look at it under the microscope to determine if there is um, uh, American fibro spores are present in in the cell. Okay, so just to recap, what's the symptoms that you're gonna see over there? One gonna be the open the holes oh, holes holes and then the collapse uh, collapse um, itself so, so the, the cover is collapsed the collapse yes and and also if they are brood present mm -hmm. um, so when they die the remains get it, stuck get stuck in those inside inside the, cell the cells wall. on the bottom on al along the cell wall and they are not easily removable you cannot remove it by just um, trying to pull on it okay so it gets stuck and so what we want to do in, for our diagnostic purpose, what we, we're trying to see if there is actually um, American fibro spores are present, what we do now is actually we will soak that cell that we identify uh, with just distilled water. So I'm going to put on um, about two drops of water. So what I want to do is actually give it a few minutes and then I'm gonna I'm gonna try to um, swab out the remains of the lava in the cell. And then you can see how when I'm just probing it, you can see the water discoloring and it's a brown dark to dark brown color. And so that was the remain that was sitting in the the brood. That's all the dissolve and I'll remove with my cotton swab. What I would do is what we call a hang and drop method. And so what I want to just gently just hang and then drop. And you can see how the water on the cover slip is also changing to darker um, brownish color. We're gonna come over here, I will just put it on that on the heat lamp and wait maybe approximately about 10 minutes or less and it's gonna dry down all the water gonna evaporate and then all the, the brood material is gonna go fix into the slide. So now that we already fixed the remain of the lava onto the cover slip, okay now I'm gonna move on to actually stain the lava. Cover the whole brood with the with the dye and then just wait for a few seconds or about 30 seconds to actually let the the dye penetrate the brood and so about 10 seconds so what we're gonna do is just remove the excess stain and we're just careful just run the water over the surface there not to um, disturb the bacterial that we already fixed. We're gonna turn it over and transfer it over to onto the slide. Um, and at this point, you don't wanna move it. We just don't wanna leave it in place. 